And we're joined by Kayla Mastin from Panther Volleyball. Kayla, thanks for joining us. Of course, I'm happy to be here. So what's your major at Florida Tech and why did you choose it? Is it something that you've always wanted to do? Well, I'm studying biomedical engineering and it wasn't my first choice. When I came here, I was actually a mathematical science major, but for my freshman year, I kind of learned that I did miss that science aspect of math and science, so I wanted to do something that included both, so that's why I chose biomedical engineering. Having grown up in upstate New York, what was it about Florida Tech that drew you here? Weather, being near the beach was a big aspect, yeah, of course, for everyone it is, but also when I was reading through the programs, Biomedical engineering was also in the back of my head when I was looking at school, so Florida Tech was like one of the few schools that offered it, and looking through the reviews of it, it just, it just looked amazing for the program that I wanted to be in. How do you plan to use your degree after graduation? Actually, I'm in the process right now of applying to vet school, so I'm hoping to use my biomedical engineering background to have like more information about technology-wise, help me further my process in vet school. So what are the, some of the exciting projects that you've been able to work on in your classes here? Right now, I'm actually in my senior design aspect of my engineering degree, so I am working on my ElectroSense senior design project where we have to make a mattress and use all these types of circuits which I'm hoping is going to help me further my education in like medical imaging and like getting a more background at technology wise. So I'm hoping that will help me to apply to vet school. And then also in my medical imaging class this semester, I'm actually getting to do a research project on medical imaging with MRIs and CT scans for horse lameness. And I'm hoping I can propose that project in vet school if, if I do get into vet school. So you had an idea of what you wanted to do education wise when you got here to Florida Tech, but have you been even more surprised by all the things that you've been able to do here? I mean, you talked about some of those projects and some of the different things that you're looking at now. Has there been even more than you expected? Yes, honestly, yes, because in high school, I didn't really get to do a lot of hands-on things with science and math, but here, like, my first year, like, when I switched my major biomedical engineering, everything has been hands-on. Like, the labs are always hands-on, and I really enjoy that because I'm a really hands-on learner, so just, like, being hands-on in the lab, getting to talk to professors one-on-one -on -one has really helped me further my education. You guys have a lot going on once the season starts, and your guys' season starts almost as soon as you're back to school, and you've got the road trips, and you've got the, the crossover coming up soon. How do you make everything work so that you're still on top of your studies and still able to do everything for your team? Just talking with professors, that has been my number one thing, because I'm being a biomedical engineer, I have been very lucky because we are such a small-knit group that I can always have access to my professors whenever I need help, and they've been so understanding, which has been a great, benefit because just being able to have that relationship with them has just made my time management so much better because like volleyball we practice sometimes early in the morning we practice late at night and then I just have that time in between the day where I just need that extra help where I can just go in whenever and just get that one-on-one -on -one with the professors so that's been a really great help. How has being a collegiate athlete prepared you for everything that you're doing now and that you're going to do and do you feel like there's anything that you've taken from the court as an athlete that you feel has helped you that applies to your studies? Definitely leadership and communication skills. What I've learned from playing volleyball is that communication is always needed in every scenario. If you don't communicate well, your project's gonna fail. Like in a court, if you don't communicate well, we're not, we're not gonna win the point. So that has been a central key to like, I need to be able to communicate with people. I need to get my point across so our project doesn't fail and I can keep moving forward. And just being a leader, just being up front with everyone, working well together as a group and just being up front and just being honest and just being open. So just being a leader in communication has been like essential components of being on the court and off the court. You mentioned biomedical engineering majors being such a, a tight knit group. What advice would you give to an athlete that's coming here to Florida Tech that might be interested in that? Um, just to be open-minded, like I wish I came in as a biomedical engineer and not a math science major because I could have made those connections quicker and easier in my freshman year because just right now as a biomedical engineer, like our senior design group, we're all so close with each other and that's actually very, very helpful because we all know each other already. We know what we need to do, like there's no arguing and it's just, it's very nice because we all work well together and it's just nice because all the people in my year are just very, very great people and it's just to be open to everyone, just have an open mind, just be ready to work with everyone because having that is just going to be essential. You're the lone fourth year senior on the team. I mean, and you've seen so much during your time here with the volleyball program and, and including the mini turnaround going on this year. What are some of the memories that you've made here during your time at Tech that you treasure the most? 
Definitely all the girls that I've met throughout the years, I do. I miss some of my teammates in the past dearly. All the road trips, all the hotel memories, that when we get to the hotel, we always just goof around. The road trips have always been memorable. Like every, like every other year we go to Alabama and that's always, that trip's always so much fun because we always just, we end up getting there and we just have a blast just going all off on the court because why not? It's, I mean, also this year too, might as well go off because it's my last year. I'm gonna try to have my best and then just, yeah, the turnaround, I mean, it's been amazing. We're trying to change the culture too and it, the turnaround from the, my previous two years to these past two years has completely changed and I'm very grateful for that. Well, it's been a lot of fun to watch. Kayla, thanks for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having me.